All right. Once again, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh Bashem Yoshai, Bashem Makakwadash, double as be unto the apostles, and here's a great millstone. To all the Akims who will wide on say, Shalom be unto you. This is the word from Michi and Ashton at camp. Just bring out a quick edification. Three spirits and the power of the Musa, Yahweh Bashem Yoshai. My edification is entitled. The C dot H dot I dot P is the future. And we're going to go into it as what Esau is saying, what the future is going to be. So when we say that they're going to be a cashless society and a cashless system, and they're going to done away with the cash, and they're going to use the C hip as a way of buying and selling, we have the proof as well. So I could go into this article that I have here. It says, Microchip implants represents a technological advancement with vast potential in the healthcare industry. Despite the benefits, such as continuous monitoring and improved patient identification, data privacy and health safety concerns continue to hinder this technology widespread adoption so they want to integrate it into everything you wouldn't be able to go to the supermarket you wouldn't be able to buy you wouldn't be able to sell you wouldn't be able to go to a health institution you wouldn't be able to go to a pharmacy you wouldn't be able to do anything without the c-hip the new sensation so the concept of implanting microchips into humans have been a topic of interest for several decades, but it wasn't until the early 2000s that this technology became a reality. In 2004, the first FDA-approved microchip implants for humans was introduced. While the current count of approximately 10,000 people worldwide with implanted microchips may seem relatively small, there are indications that the technology is on its path to widespread adoption, which means worldwide adoption. You can't buy or sell without it. And this man is the devil. This is particularly evident in countries like Sweden, with approximately 3,000 Swedes have chosen to have rice-sized microchips implanted beneath the skin, between their thumbs and index finger, operating a radio, radio frequency ID, RFID technology. These chips can store personal information, credit card numbers, and medical records. So, this is the future of Esau. And it just goes back to fulfill prophecy overall, you know. And we go into Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. It says, And he had give and he had power to give life unto the image and of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Yeah, so if you don't accept the sea help in the future, you are gonna be put to death because they're gonna put laws in place. Whereas if you don't accept this, you'll be considered enemy of the state. You'll be considered dangerous you know just like when they will have rolled out the the, the the pandemic they made persons who didn't want to take the joy juice seem as if they were the the wrong ones and they were the ones that contributing to that event and then you can see they're they're pulling it back now and everyone is in panic because persons basically are 
dropping with heart issues, you know. And it has been proven. That's one of the reasons why they recall it their joy juice. So um sixteen and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, that him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and that number is six, three score, and six. I mean, know that going back to the barcodes that I originally started off with. So yeah, so, you see here is the future, whether you like it or not. You know, the scripture um, talks about it. I could even go to Ezekiel chapter 9. And it says, um, start at verse 4. So, um, it says, And the Lord said unto me, The Lord of Abashim and Shai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and cry, for the abomination that has been done in the midst thereof. And that mark is a mark of exemption, you know. Um, it's, um, it's a mark that's going to be upon the elect. But when that time come about of destruction of the great city, you're going to be exempted in Jacob's trouble. You're going to be exempted in a lot of things, you know. And verse 5, to the others, he said, in my hearing, go ye through the midst of the city, and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. And that other mark that would be on poor new people is what they call karagma. And that mark is the C hip, the mark of destruction. But we know that our people, Negroes, Latinos, and Native, mainly makes up the house of Israel. We are scattered sheep. It don't goes back to the color of your skin, but to the seed of your father. And through lack of knowledge, put into Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And in those days, the most high of Ashimesh, I will reject you people because you're simple. You lack knowledge. You have no understanding. Nor do you want to learn understanding. You just want to do what is right in your own eyes. And the most high of Ashimesh is going to destroy you because you put your trust in Egypt. But the scriptures say that Isaiah chapter 1, 31 and verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But it's, they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord of Hashem Yishai. And if you don't turn to the lawyer of Ashimishai now and pray and hope that you're part of the elect in those days of the system, you're going to be drafted in and you're going to be taken up and you're going to be destroyed eventually for lack of knowledge. So it would be based on the article I just read before the CHF is the future. You know, with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor and glory be unto the Mosai of Ashimishai. I hope the love was edifying, built up. You know, double as we enter your pastors and there is a great millstone. To all the Akims worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GMS Sri Lanka. Sin Shalom. Stay strong, Akim Shalom.